you've seen this image. Maria Takeuchi's pose is iconic, an introduction for everyone into the genre of city pop. And what an introduction it was. If you're like me, and you discover a new genre of music with as much passion and flair as city pop, you start to delve deep down the YouTube rabbit hole. At first it might be a search for some of Tekayuchi's other songs. Then you discover new artists, then discovering entire albums, then somehow you find your way into this. And you love it. Finding a new genre of music is exciting as all hell. Heck, if you know me or any of this channel branding, you might know that I somewhat enjoy the music of a certain Mr. West. And I felt the same energy discovering his music for the first time when I listened to Plastic Love. The song took me away to the sounds of Japanese nightlife in the 80s, and whilst I was entranced by the song's catchiness, I peered down to the comments, and saw people being nostalgic for a time they never lived. But why is that? Where did this even come from? And why the hell does this music slap as hard as it does? To understand City Pop, we need to understand the time frame it was created in. Most music is a byproduct of its time, that's why we see so many songs from the 80s in popular TV shows or movies, to be nostalgic. And Japan in 1980 was at a peak. The economy was booming. Japan was making stuff, and it was making stuff fast. Cars, electronics, creating music production equipment such as machines for sampling and synths, and perhaps more importantly, a way to play them. With portable stereos and music players and car stereos, and probably the most important portable device until Apple's iPod many years later, the Walkman. The release of the Walkman was almost perfectly timed with the rise of City Pop. With the economy booming and everyone having so much fun, it was only fitting that City Pop became the soundtrack, a beautiful portrait of Japanese city life. I mean, it's where the city and City Pop comes from. If I had to describe City Pop in one word, it'd be happy. Whilst many City Pop songs delve into deeper, sadder topics, you really just can't help but dance to them. It seemed like everything was gonna be up. Japan was in a bubble economy. At the time, all the parties and happiness were temporary. As the economy collapsed, there wasn't much room for hopeful music like City Pop. It seemed City Pop was gone, a remnant of an era that no longer existed. But in early 2017, when Plastic Love was uploaded to YouTube, it sparked a re-interest into the genre, with people uploading their own favourite City Pop songs and albums to YouTube. And City Pop began a rebirth, with many people from different countries all over the world discovering the genre for the very first time. And then talented artists like Young Bay and Night Tempo remix popular tracks into the genre that would become Future Pop, a subgenre of the more popular Vaporwave. In the age of the internet, when anything can go viral and respark trends, nothing really dies. It lays dormant until we fondly remember it yet again. <laughs> 